Hello there, welcome back to the Ogre, the old Git Reacts, Reviews and Off Time Drum. And this is um, normally when I'm looking for new music. Um, I actually flick into loads and loads of uh, albums and um, to be fair, I only give them a five to ten seconds to see if it's uh, anything of interest before I listen more. But um, uh, inevitably, I end up with half a dozen out of 200 or so um, albums that I'll listen to um in greater depth and um out of those half dozen probably one or two i will like enough to buy um so it was just uh, some degree of pleasure that um the other day when i was looking for more new music i found a, a whole heap of the stuff so um i'm gonna do a few videos over the next few days which um incorporates those those albums um now to be honest, I've listened to all of them, or well, none of them actually, in their, in their entirety. Uh, and I've listened to all of them, where I may have listened to one or two tracks in its in their entirety. Um, but uh, so this is all very much not quite a stab in the dark, but um, this is a fumble in the dark as to as to whether or not I actually like these these um, albums or not. But uh, certainly the tracks I'm going to do. Uh, the majority of them anyway are going to be um, tracks that I quite like, uh, although there will be one or two tracks um, which I've not heard uh, fully yet, which I'm, will just be, um, let's uh, let's see whether I do like them or not. So um, we'll start with one I definitely know I do like, um, from the gloriously named Trounce. Uh, if that's not been used as in the band name before, then... Um, Chapeau for um, being the first, because it's a cracking name for a band, particularly one that sounds like this. So anyway, uh, let's give it a listen, shall we? Yes, we shall. Let me just bang some volume up before we start. Always forget. Right, let's go. So as soon as I heard this album, I was intrigued, and um, and as soon as I heard this song, I was uh, immediately sort of um, engaged because um, they don't sound anything like Funeral Mist, but they reminded me of Funeral Mist if they played this particular style, shall we say? <laughs> um, it's that uh, proselytizing, preaching from the pulpit type uh, vocals thing. Mostly, but of course the um, the pace um, also uh, reminds me, in some ways, of Funeral Mist, and it is that sort of um, what the sense of the music gives you, rather than the sound of the music. If you understand what I mean, because I hope you do, because I don't understand what I'm saying myself most of the time. But uh, yes, it's it's a, this is immediate and um, sort of grabs you by the throat um, straight away. Um, it has its own intensity, which is different from the intensities I often listen to, but uh, intense nonetheless. <laughs>
very urgent track this it's like um the band have got somewhere to go and um a mission to uh, undertake and get done rather swiftly there is a, that sense of let's let's do it let's do it now um particularly like the um the lead guitar on this uh, when it kicks in um with its the most with its utmost emphasis um it reminds me a little bit of a if you were getting a tattoo where the needle is six inches long it's got that sort of <laughs> stabbing quality to it um not a tattoo i don't, I don't have tattoos because i'm not interested in them but uh, the um i'm sure those of you who uh, do enjoy the tattoo uh, would uh, run away at the sight of a tattoo gun with a six inch um, needle of course you would uh, anyway <laughs> So you do get a sense of bleakness about this um, this track and this this album uh, to a degree, but it's not bleakness in the sense that the album cover conveys. It's not a monochrome bleakness. It's not that sort of um, it's not without colour. There are flashes of colour and light uh, throughout. Um, there might not be lightning strikes, but they certainly are. Um, they certainly prevent it being that sort of. As I say, monochrome bleakness. The um, there are um, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Can't think of it. But anyway, there, there are aspects that that um, fly in that um, so do give colour and light to um, proceedings and um, I, I prevent it being miserable. I mean, bleak doesn't have to be miserable because um, bleak surroundings very often can be breathtaking, particularly sort of mountainscapes and the, and the like. Um, so. Um, Yes, um, th there is uh, this turmoil there with a, a hint of hope, maybe you could say, for me anyway. <laughs> So there you go. Uh, at times that was like being flailed with barbed wire. Um, the, the abrasion um, was plain to hear. Um, and um, I have to say, it's one of my, what are we now? Not November yet, are we? Nearly November. Um, but um, it is one of my favourite finds of the year, I think. Um, we all have our comfort zone uh, music we listen to and know we're going to... Oh, presume we're going to enjoy um but it's nice to find um variations on a theme and um albeit you could argue this is um black metal based um it it does deviate from the norm quite significantly as far as a, a genre definition is concerned and um most pleasing it is too to find so uh i shall have that the album it comprises of um half studio tracks and half live tracks uh, so far i've only um briefly listened to the studio side um but throughout like the um 
live tracks are anything like as intense as the studio, then what a treat it will be. Anyway, nothing more to say with that really. Absolute delight. Um, clicky bollocks. Catch you all next time. Cheerio.